Uh, hey, hold on, real quick. Hold on, hold on. Pause. That was one thing. Um, Popovich and kind of being critical of the NFL. I love football. You know, I've never been a big. I've never been a fan of Goodell, but you know, I just love the sport of football itself so much. Um, but I mean, Goodell, we know he's all about his money. So Popovich had this comment to say about Goodell. It almost kind of gave Goodell an out where, you know, he said a smart man is running the NFL, didn't understand what the difference was between the flag and what makes the country great. All the people who fought to allow Kaepernick to have the right to kneel for justice. Goodell got intimidated when Trump jumped on the kneeling and he folded. So, I mean, it, it's almost kind of like he gives him an out, like saying, hey, you know, this is because he couldn't stand up to Trump. But I, I think at least like the real leaders, the vocal coaches, people like that, and the NBA are going to keep pushing this topic. What I found interesting, too, is, uh, you know, the way this leaks into the NFL as well. Bill O'Brien, you know, I'm sure you guys saw. I'm not a big fan of him as the GM. I'm not a great fan of Bill O'Brien as the coach. But, I mean, we can't deny that he did say, hey, I will kneel with the players, you know. So, unlike in the past where the NFL kind of seemed to be agnostic to this or at least turn a blind eye, yeah. now you're starting <laughs> to see it leak into the NFL as well, which is a huge step in my opinion. On Do you think Bill O'Brien – Bill O'Brien – wait, 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 real quick, real quick. On the Bill O'Brien thing, I think he's kind of trying to clean up. That, that, behind, that the, behind the hot – valid thought. It's a valid. I think thought. he's trying to clean up behind the hop shit, man. Because I mean, on six ten, I, Brandon, I know for a fact you can attest to this shit. Two months ago, right when this shit started, right when the Corona shit started, you know what I'm saying? Like when we were on his ass about, you know, when he, um, baby, when moments. they fucking traded hop, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. uh, I people were calling him the six ten radio, going off on his ass and every fucking thing and i mean even the guys there they i mean i don't know i just think he's trying to clean up but that's how i think that he already thought that he was on the chopping block in some type of way uh you know so i think that him just saying that is oh okay let me let me just try to you know i don't know not stir the pot but you know keep everything in line so yeah so like that's what i was about to say two chances basically i mean i don't think it's genuine if I'm being honest with you guys, like, that's my opinion. I think he fucked up that – he's fucking up the organization right now. So, he knows he's losing, like, a lot of supporters, like, fans and everything. So, he has to do something to, like, make amends, you know, pretty much. What's the and, and it's the thing. I feel, like, I feel like with this whole Black Lives Matter movement, people aren't doing it for the right reasons. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're doing it to kind of, like, you know, Same take face. advantage. Or, or, yeah, or, like, there's a profit lot. from, too. And it's, it's just, like, their intentions aren't really right. And, like, I don't respect those that are, like, trying to do that, you know? All right. So, let me let me jump in on this real quick. I'm going to be, like, just full You're transparency. You're incredible like, source. Well, yeah, man. I, like, I know Bill a little bit. And and so, all right. So, I had a couple. I'm not even trying to name drop on y'all. This is, like, this is like real shit. Like, I, I, had, I had a couple beers with Bill O'Brien and, like, maybe 15 or 20 other media types, like, like we all just chilled and had beer for like two hours about a week ago, a week ago tomorrow. So we could go Thursday. Really? We go tomorrow. Yeah. So, so like we chopped it up about this and I'm going to tell y'all like this man with Bill O'Brien. It's two separate. It's these are, these are two separate things for me because like, as far as the organization goes and as far as the moves that he's made and we talked about this too, we don't agree with him. We can't make sense of him. Like, I told him straight up, I told him, I said, like, Bill, you got to understand, DeAndre Hopkins was like a folk hero here. Like, yeah. like you got to, like, if you trade DeAndre Hopkins, you got to bring back something. You got to bring back, like, the world. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't just trade DeAndre Hopkins and just be like, oh, well, it was in the best interest of the team. You know what I'm saying? Like, like we're not, we not buying that because, like, hot. Hop been been down with the team before Bill O'Brien got there. He was he was drafted well before Bill O'Brien got there, and he's like in the community, you know. So like he's actually he's like actually a real person here. So that's the, that's the one thing. But then on the other side of it, like Bill O'Brien, even though he doesn't 
talk the way Greg Popovich does and the way Steve Kerr does and the way the NBA coaches does. Like, he is, he is kind of along those lines of the type of the white liberal, like, that's, the, that's his type of beliefs. So, like, I do think that that's what he actually believes, but I also think, like, to y'all's point, the timing of it is convenient because he gets to massage his image through this as opposed to the way the rest of, of the rest of us have viewed him through the lens of like what he's done with the with the organization so like they're two separate issues but he's able to benefit from the conflating of the two so like it's like oh well bill o'brien messed up the organization but it's cool because he on the right side of the issues which is like nah nah wait a minute he can be on the right side of the issues but he still did this that was that was messed up you know like you got to keep everything in the context and like and like you can do that you know that's not really hard to do you can say yeah well, me and bill o'brien agree on this one thing but like we don't agree on nothing else when it comes to football you know like you can you can have it you can have it like that but that's kind of that's kind of just been the way that i viewed it like okay yeah bill o'brien whether no matter what you think of him this this issue is not the same as the other one and so like we can we can still hold his ass to the fire for like okay you traded deandre hopkins where did you get back you know you got back nothing you traded jadevian klein where did you get back you didn't really back get back peanuts. you got back <laughs> peanuts you know um your draft, your draft picks you don't you don't have no pretty much no draft picks between you know this year and next year you know like you can you can break down all of that and you can come to him with it and then like at the end of the day, man, we had to just agree to disagree on a lot of stuff, man. <laughs> but but when it came but when it came to this when it came to this one issue though, you know, like I, I do believe that that he is on the right side of the issue. It's just that we don't have to use that to excuse all of the other stuff. Right. I feel that. I feel that. What I do find well, interesting. Well, I learned something new about Bill O'Brien. He's on the white liberal side. I, <laughs> I never would have thought that. Definitely either. wouldn't have thought that shit. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, man. No, for sure. <laughs> Northeast, yeah. I guess, huh? Yeah, like you got to think about it. Like people, people just assume what Bill O'Brien is based off of like an offhanded comment by Bob McNair. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, like whatever you think Bob McNair was, you probably, as far as like politics, you're probably right. You know what I'm saying, but but with Bill O'Brien, you know he's he's kind of mid management, so he's not really the one to go out and talk about politics. It is fair to say, hey man, if this is how you feel now, where were you at in 2016, 2017, and 2018 as far as being more vocal? Like he's always supported Kenny Stills, uh, Dwayne Brown to tell you that Bill O'Brien is on the right side of the issues, but like publicly where were you at and that's that's not just for bill o'brien but that's for all the white coaches and for all the owners and for roger goodell and for everybody that all of a sudden want to come to jesus all of a sudden you know when it's convenient and when they check the temperature of the room that's the difference now it's like you might be sincere but like i have to forgive like right outside i guess my my yard man is here but oh, you good but yeah it's like you know where you where you been? Like we could have used your voice, JJ Watt. Same thing. Yeah. Like he want to come out, and I appreciated it. But I'm like, yeah, man, that's great that you said that, and I'm and I'm glad that you said that. But man, a, a voice like JJ Watt, man, we could have used that a year ago, two years three ago, years ago, three years ago, four, you know, so on and so forth. It is wild, man. I mean, like it's like you said, it's you know what. Like, the proof is in the pudding. Actions speak louder than words, you know. And NFL saying, hey, we made a mistake, you know, again, it's a big step. But you got to actually see something, you know. You got to see it to believe it. What I do find interesting, though, in the last, I guess, last note on this topic, you know, the question of when the anthem occurs and, you know, after all of this, what's going to happen with, you know, the players and the coaches? Are they going to take knees with the players? Are you going to see people trying to – discourage others from taking a knee well it's coronavirus so you're not going to have fans probably right like it seems like that's almost certain that we're going to have nfl without fans next year mm -hmm. i don't think you're going to have the same national anthem you know ceremony that you had before because you don't have the fans to entertain you don't have any of that so mm -hmm. i think it might be almost again that convenient timing you know for the nfl that 
they can probably just dodge the issue altogether because you won't really have as much production around the national anthem the way you used to. So they kind of, you know, the NFL gets lucky again because the timing of not only these issues, but also of the pandemic happens way before NFL season. I know it leaks into some of the, um, you know, voluntary off-season workouts and whatnot, mm-hmm. you know, or at least it's going to start leaking into that now. But the NFL gets lucky, like always. You know, they luck out from all of this, and uh, I don't know. We'll see. It 